finally got around to doing something that I've wanted to do for a while. Um, I've had two of these low-profile Intel i210 um, gigabit network cards. They're really nothing special. Um, but the i210 has uh, software-defined pins that are pretty much specifically for timing purposes. And on this card, uh, three of them are broken out into a very convenient little header. Um, so we have pins 0, 1, and 2 on the left. Uh, or no, wait, those are the grounds, and then the actual data, uh, the signal pins on the right. You can find pinouts online, doesn't matter. Um, so what I've done is uh, I've got one of my um, little embedded PCs here, um, and it has one of my uh, ATGM 336H uh, PCIe uh, GPS cards in it, and uh, those cards I put on a um, a connector for PPS out, so it can be brought out to an SMA connector like here. So I've got uh, a piece of coax run out, and then in the back of this machine, you can see I added to the back connector of um, that other Ethernet card uh, an SMA connector. And then internally, that's just terminating directly to these pins. I'll attach a picture of it so you can see what that actually looks like. It's nothing special. Um, uh, and then I've configured uh, Crody to use Linux uh, PTP um, as a time source. And um, the uh, these guys can get, uh, they have the ability to get wall clock time from the GPS, of course. Um, and then they also get the PPS from the GPS to specify the seconds. Um, this machine, which only gets um, uh, PPS in over the Intel NIC, um, it still needs to set its general time from somewhere else. Its wall clock time has to come either from a network source or its built-in RTC has to be close enough um, but uh, I've got two different um, crony sources. So this top one is running on this little machine that I just showed you. Um, and then the bottom one is actually running on this computer. Um, but as you can see there, you know, that's uh, PHC is what we're looking at. Um, and then this top one has a GPS. And you can see it's got an X that's out of spec because it's, you know, um, 60 milliseconds out because it's connected over USB internally, which is really no good, but that's fine because we have uh, the PPS connected to the i210 that's inside of the ARC. And if I switch over to the tracking info, you can see they're both doing very well, though um, the CPU in this machine is uh, it's kind of whacked out. 10 ppm slow. I mean, Crony is collecting, correcting that, of course, but still, that's pretty wild. Um, of course, this thing also, um, it's turboing, and I've been regularly using it in some CPU-intensive tasks, so that's probably causing the CPU to drift, drift pretty intensively, whereas by comparison, uh, this little guy is only a clock, and its CPU um, is not turboing or speed-stepping, so it's very stable. But, uh, so my plan, this was really just a proof of concept, and now my plan is to do the same thing to this one, to add um, an SMA input connector right there. I'll just drill, drill into there and mount the SMA input connector, and then mount that in my server, and then one of my clocks that has PPS out, one of my other machines, I've got a, a couple of these other guys, um, I can run that straight into that and not have to worry about mounting uh, a GPS directly in. Now, this is like the more difficult way to do it, actually. The better way to do it is just to send PTP packets, um, do hardware timestamping directly over Ethernet. Um, I haven't done that yet, um, because with this, I don't really have to. Um, this is the harder way, but it's also the more certain way. Anyway, this is pretty cool. I thought I'd share this.